how to get through the light rings and high spring quest i think that's how we say it i've already finished it so but i'm just starting this guy so i can show you guys where to go and then we'll cut to the solution in a second first things first you're going to want to head on up to the right hand side here basically make your way to the tower up at the top and once you're up here as you might imagine we're going to want to go ahead and use the tower and I'm obviously using the map here so you guys can see. We're going to be making our way over to this island just here. So I'm going to take a glide on over. Let's use my let's go feature right here. Try and get there as quickly as we can. Obviously, if we land in the water, we take no damage. So we can get down way faster once we're over it. Will do. Cool, so now that we've arrived, what we can do is interact with this platform just here. I don't know if it's going to allow me to do it in this particular clip. No, it's not. So we're going to switch to what we have to do after that then. Once you've interacted with that, <clears throat> you'll be shown a ring at the end of a little slide. And you're going to want to go and jump through that ring. You don't necessarily have to surf through the first ring. In fact, I don't think you have to surf through any of them. This is about speed. So once you go through that ring, I recommend that you immediately go into dive mode so that you can head on down. You'll see as you are diving, there is like a little snaky path just underneath you. The ring is going to be just ahead of you if you dive straight down. So once you're close to the ground, if you do have um, Thule with you as well, it's a good idea to give yourself a gust so you can go forward a little bit um, and bypass the Lysel that's waiting for you down there, which can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Once that's done, you're going to need to shield surf to keep up the right amount of speed. If you don't know how to do that, you need to hold in your left trigger to bring the shield out, jump, and then press A. That is going to start you sliding on your shield as you go down the track. Keep on going down the track and going through the rings. That is going to keep the timer topping up for you. I don't think it shows up on the screen. It's kind of invisible, but there is a timer, and it does seem to refresh each time you hit one of the rings. Now, just be very careful. Just as you're about to get to the end, there is a rock that is very kind of almost conveniently placed. And it's easy to fall off there. So just try and keep to the left of that as you're going through. And eventually, you'll come to the end and unlock the Zakusu Shrine. 